Well, we're back playing Cassandra in Greece, and we got a hidden blade this Guards, time. I Looking need very sweet. Seems like the regular citizen doesn't really like it. Well, not my problem. Oh, damn, I can use the combat as well to block enemy attacks and uh, take them out as well. Yes, I played a lot of Assassin's Creed Nexus, the brand new VR game that just came out. And it really does a lot of interesting things. Like we now know what the inside of a haystack looks like. No, but more interesting is that we can play in three settings in one game with new stories and missions for Ezio, Cassandra and Connor. Thanks by the way to Ubisoft for sponsoring this video. You can check the game out via the special link in the video description. And there's actually an interesting modern day too. So we play a hacker who's helping Abstergo find Isu fragments that contain codes that can help them build a supercomputer. And they want to use that to manipulate people, putting Templar beliefs into their minds and maybe even turning them into Templars as well. But there's a twist because we're secretly undercover and hired by Sean Hastings and Rebecca Crane from the Assassin Order who we most recently saw in Valhalla for example. They of course appeared in many other games. Either way this takes place after the Valhalla modern day story and they basically want us to sabotage the Abstergo project. So in between missions you will secretly be talking to them in the hope that Abstergo does not figure it out. Like it's only a small part of the overall game but it's cool that it feels more connected to the actual gameplay this time compared to the most recent titles. Like we're jumping into these memories to find these Izu fragments for Abstergo starting with Ezio. And it's great to hear Roger Cracksmith's voice as Ezio again. Ah, on the journey. It has been far too long. Yes, we're back in Montregiorni here to visit our sister. We are two years after the events of Brotherhood, so 1509, just before Revelations. And you can explore the walled village a bit. There are these blue constructs that you can interact with and they give you more historical context. But I also found parkour activities where you have to go through these digital gates in under a time limit. I'm already kind of getting the hang of it, so let's go to the villa. Uh, Are these workers doing anything? Ah, there we have Claudia. Cool to see her again after so many years. So she gives me a key to an attic where we have to repair a music box by finding things in the environment. Overall, really cool how in VR you can interact with many things around you. You really have to open closets or drawers, pick up things. You can then inspect them. In this case, you can also throw them to kind of like use them as noisemakers. So you can get enemies in the right position for an environmental kill, for example. Or then sneak up to them with the hidden blade. And actually sticking the blade into someone feels pretty good. Uh, immersive. <laughs> also things like controlling a boat in Venice. Doing a dice game in Greece. Where you have to put the dice in a cup and then roll them. It's just a fun way to interact with the world and setting. That in this case I've already spent hundreds of hours in with Odyssey. But now through VR can experience in a new way. But going back to Ezio because now after repairing the music box. A really cool version of Ezio's family plays. Like I don't think I will ever get tired of that song. So let's head back to Claudia. Oh damn what's going on here. So it turns out those workers were not really workers. And we're planning to take over the villa. So we have to get rid of them. It's again pretty awesome to fling your wrist. Get the hidden blade out. And then sneak up to these enemies. Stick the blade in their back. Which you can also do with the other assassins. Like let's look at more Cassandra and Connor gameplay as well. But first one more cool thing from that early Ezio mission. Because we actually get to go back to the sanctuary again. After defeating soldiers here, you can take a way better look at these statues that we now know way more of compared to when we saw them for the first time in Assassin's Creed 2. Like we of course got Darius, the inventor of the Hidden Blade, Amunet is of course here, and also Wei Yu, the Chinese assassin that we actually get to control and play in the opening of Jade, the new Assassin's Creed mobile game that comes out next year. So slowly but surely we will see these characters in games. But now with Nexus having three different settings in one game is actually kind of crazy. So let's go back to America with Connor. Would be awesome if you could, by the way, drop a like to show your support. Also, if you want me to do more Nexus videos and subscribe if you are new for more Assassin's Creed content like this. Like the power of this game is totally that every hour and a half, two hours, you are in a completely different world. Okay, we're getting the bow now with Connor. Always like to use that in VR, feel supernatural. And the precision in Nexus is really great. But the cool part about Connor is that you can use his tomahawk as a melee weapon, but also as a throwable. So while both Ezio 
Lucio and Cassandra have their sword. Connor uses the axe that is pretty great at taking out enemies from afar and you can then just pick up the weapon afterwards or you can also use it to do a double assassination. Like Nexus really has a ton of old school Assassin's Creed gameplay. Sometimes you have to assassinate a target in front of an audience so get close through social stealth without the guards noticing you, strike at the right time and then run away and hide. You can overhear NPCs talk and get information from that. Sometimes you have to follow a person which is just completely different in first person where sometimes you can't really see the target because you are hiding or you can just quickly peek around the corner. It's really cool. And while you can face enemies head on with a pretty great combat system where you have to parry incoming attacks and then strike when their guard is down, there are dashes you can do to immediately open the enemy up for an attack. But it's still not smart to alert a whole camp, so going for stealth is once again smarter. Every character has a ranged weapon to help with that. Cassandra gets the Odysseus bow that was a helix weapon in Odyssey. A, a pretty bad one by the way but yeah now you can get it for free without having to spend the opals and Ezio gets his crossbow again from brotherhood that of course feels a bit different to use but it's just as deadly all characters also have throwing knives as an optional ranged weapon yes including Cassandra and these can by the way also be used to take out enemies from close by which is pretty cool like overall the amount of uses for certain tools is kind of awesome if it makes sense in real life then it's probably possible in this game like you can destroy a alarms with the hidden blade, save prisoners that way, parry incoming attacks and use it as a surprisingly strong melee weapon. But you can also throw enemies off buildings, take out enemies by hitting them with your bow. There are a ton of cool things you can do. One of my favorite early levels was with Cassandra where you have to explore this temple that has some traps like a wall that comes towards you which is pretty scary in VR but you can stop it if you quickly shoot for objects or there are these minotaur axes that block your path. You can once again stop it with your bow. But the most fun trap was one where I had to grab two shields that were lying on the floor to protect myself from incoming projectiles, but they would also come from different sides. So you had to be careful and move the shields in the right direction. Also interesting in Cassandra her memories is that actually killing civilians will cause you to desync, which is not the case in Odyssey, but will happen after two kills in Nexus. So good to keep that in mind. And I also did not see an explanation for Cassandra or Hidden Blade yet. So turns out that 20 years after the ending of Odyssey, she already had one. But how and where remains a mystery and i'm curious if we'll get an answer to that in the future of course if you have any questions about the game let me know in the comments down below i did not get motion sick at all which i was pretty surprised by especially the leap of faith is pretty crazy to perform and also when like going into the haystack but i was fine with it i'm usually like pretty fine with vr games so it actually worked really, really great for me. So I can't wait to hop back into Nexus to finish the final missions. Again, check the game out if you are curious via the special link in the video description. If you want to see another video on the game, let me know. Thanks to Ubisoft for sponsoring the video. Subscribe for way more Assassin's Creed content. A like would, of course, be awesome. And if you are curious what's going to happen in 2024 with Assassin's Creed, then totally check out my video by clicking on the screen. I will speak to you very soon. Goodbye.